Hello, I'm Audrey Preston. I was born and raised here in Fond du Lac. Um, there hasn't ever been a time where God wasn't involved in my life, um, but there definitely have been seasons where he is not um, the forefront or a priority in my life. Um, as a child, church was something I attended with my family. Um, I went, but I never came back with anything. I felt like it was confusing. I never really understood why certain things were done. and. Um, I just left not really feeling engaged with not only what was said, but the community as well. Um, so as I grew up and became a young adult, um, that's where the distance really set in. And I didn't have the want or desire to, to go into that. I wanted to kind of explore who I was and I felt like I could do everything by myself. I don't, I don't need anybody. Um, and as my life continued, I met my now husband, Josh, and that brought a lot of opportunities for us. We ended up moving to Columbus, um, but that brought a lot of loneliness for me. I, I had a lot of times where I felt like something was missing and I didn't have people to lean on. Um, we ended up getting our dog and you know with the dog you need to exercise them so we would always go on nature walks and things like that and I feel like that is where my seed of a relationship with God kind of was planted um, I felt more connected to him um, you know being out with the fresh air and, and just like being alone um, and just taking in the scenes that was really helpful for me to just be able to talk with God um, so that was super super helpful for me but then my life continued and we got another opportunity so uh, we uh, moved to the Chicagoland area and that was that was great but again I started to kind of feel like something was missing um, I, I still felt like some loneliness and I had some really um, I had a lot of thoughts in my in my head that I was just battling I was, I was very overwhelmed by doing things all by myself. Um, I had a co-worker at the time and she she said, hey, do you want to come to church with me? I, I was very hesitant at first. I, you know, my natural thought was like, nope. <laughs> but, you know, something pushed me to say, yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. And it was honestly a turning point in my faith. Uh, having a community that was uplifting and, and hearing a message that I could not only relate to, but I, I understood I, I could engage with it that was that was extremely helpful for me to to have other Christians around me and not having to do things by myself as my story as the theme is here life continued and we moved we moved back home because we wanted to start a family so we came to Fond du Lac but at that time it was you know 2020 everybody's life Kind of got shook up. Um, there was not in-person churches. There, there really wasn't a time for us to like have a community, like of in-person closeness to build those relationships. So, um, we ended up, ex you know, extending our family. We had our daughter, uh, which was great, and um, things started to open back up. And I knew that I wanted to give her um, a really good uh, foundation of faith, and I wanted her to kind of have have a community that that she could grow up with and learn from and enjoy um so uh, my husband and i were like okay we're gonna just do a little tour of fond du lac let's find what church is for us and uh we never made it past center point because this is our church home this is where we we feel like we can just be ourselves and we know that like every message that we get on Sundays, it is positive, it is relevant, it's real. It's something that sets the tone for our week um, in such a positive light. And we know that our daughter is in, is growing in her own faith and is gonna be able to, to have her own relationship with God and understand more than maybe we did as children. And that's something that um, finally ended my loneliness. I, I now, you know, as a you know, current, Christian. I, I know that I not only have God's love constantly, but being involved in the Center Point community, whether it is my life group or um, volunteering with the children's ministry or just the events that go on here. Like I know I have a solid, you know, friendship, friendships that I've made as well. Um, so I just encourage you to um, do that for yourself. And that is my life, my uh, faith, my faith story. Thank you so much for
for listening and I hope that you find it encouraging.